Welcome to CryptoWise, my friends. My name is Marvin and I will be the captain for today. And today I am back talking about NFTs. That's right, guys. I'm diving deep into the next 100x gems. There's a lot going on in the NFT world. And if you thought that the NFT space was over, it has just begun. Now, last month was a bit slow in the NFT world, but that doesn't mean shit. All that means is you need to spend more time doing more research looking for those gems because when the NFT world turns back on, which we're starting to see now, and I'll show you why, you're going to want to be prepared. Now, guys, do us a huge favor and smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click on that little bell. That bell is going to get you real-time alerts when these videos drop. And of course, if you don't follow us yet, please do follow us on Twitter at CryptoWise Daily. We are dropping all sorts of things all the time, every single day on our CryptoWise Twitter and our Telegram group at CryptoWise Official. We are 24-7, the entire CryptoWise family, the familia, is in our Telegram group. And if you're not, you need to join us there as well. Now, today, I have a very exciting episode because I've got a bunch of projects that I'm getting really, really excited about and I want to bring to you as quickly as I can. So bear with me because I'm going to drop these as quick as I can to you because there's a few of them, okay? Now, one of the best things you can do is find some tools, some resources, and I talk about these in some of my videos where you can find NFTs, where you can do your research and do your digging to find the next best NFT projects, okay? One of the ones that I found and that I've been using a lot of recently is NFT Calendar. That's nftcalendar.io. Now, there's a few of these sites, of course. There's more and more popping up. But in terms of the quality of projects and the variety of ecosystems that are available, NFT Calendar has been one of my best uh, bets as of recently uh, to find some gems. And so I would highly recommend that you use NFT Calendar, or at least you check it out uh, and see it for yourself. But they've got all sorts of projects, okay? Solana, Ethereum, you name it, Immutable X. And it, there, there's a mix, like any site, right? You've really got to siffer through what's good, what's crap, et cetera, et cetera. But NFT Calendar tends to get some of the better projects and consolidates it in a way that's really easy for me to search and find the projects that I'm looking for. So go check out nftcalendar.io. All right, jumping right into my first project of the day is Blockchain Billies. Blockchain Billies. Now, these guys are actually really freaking cool. Check them out. I'm absolutely loving the artwork, and artwork is something I'm really focused on these days. I have to love the artwork to really get behind the project. Uh, and, it, and, and that varies, that varies. But when it comes to the blockchain billies, take a look at these guys. They're very freaking cool. Now this is launching on Ethereum. The blockchain billies are a collection of 10,000 randomly generated, retro loving, nostalgic goats. Okay, time to work through the future. Um, over the last few decades, the billies have been carefully collecting artifacts from their youth and pop culture, preparing for their prophetic pursuit of the famed Gotopia, a mythical land on the blockchain, and a time loop of the 80s and 90s nostalgia. And you can see that in their artwork. They've, the details are incredible. In between building their time machine, they've been scavenging and scourging for their old tech, playing video games and racking up some high scores on classic arcade titles. Each Billy has randomly been randomly assigned to one of four tribes. And if we go to their tribe section of their site, it's actually cool or we can take a better look. The oracles, the oracles have foreseen future. And you can see there's some, uh, obviously some, some hints here from Star Wars and different types from that, that era. Um, if we go down into the scavengers have been scavenging scouring the lands in search of rare artifacts and spare parts. And I mean, look at the details, guys. You got the old calculator. You've got even in the reflection of these glasses, I can see the old kind of Windows 3.0 or 2.0. I'm not, I'm not sure. 3.1, I guess it was. 007, right? Do you not remember playing 007? Oh, gosh. Okay, these are wicked. Tech heads. The tech heads have been building the interdimensional time machine. Again, the details are incredible. And then, and then you have the Church of Derp. The Church of Derp has been worshiping the Derp and all of its teachings. I'm really digging these guys. Now, um, 
I, the, the mint is coming soon. They delayed the mint due to obviously Ethereum gas prices have been through the roof. I highly recommend you check out their site at blockchainbillies.io to take a look. Obviously, do your own research. The art definitely gets to me. I think the art is super creative and the details are incredible. Um, they're doing their first community launch and then a second community launch. In terms of the first one, the, the uh, it's going to be 500 billies to reward early community members. Second launch will be a thousand billies. Um, verified early adopters are entered into a raffle for random billies. The main launch will be the remaining 8,400 billies onto the blockchain. 100 billies will be held back for community prizes and giveaways. Um, at 10%, we fall off our chairs. At 25%, the tradable golden arcade token, game token with future utility will be airdropped. Okay. Uh, five ETH for future projects into the community wallet. And then at 50%, the tradable silver arcade game token will be with future utility will be dropped. Uh, at, sorry, at 50%. At 75%, the tradable bronze arcade go, uh, token will be dropped with future utility. Again, five ETH going to community pool in every phase. And at 100%, the plastic arcade game token with future utilities will be dropped. And then of course, uh, further um, ETH added to the community wallet, community vote on where the goats will be next. The tribe clubhouse will open. Okay, who doesn't want to go to the tribe clubhouse? I sure do. I want to go to the tribe clubhouse. Um, and then you've got the trait tracker goes live. Evolution of the animator goes live and co uh, collaborations with other awesome projects to be revealed. Now, these guys are doing really interesting stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to be lining up to get my blockchain billy. Okay, I want one of my billies. I'll probably try to get a few. Um, and I've already applied for whitelist. I think there are a couple of spots, uh, whitelist spots left. So I highly recommend uh, you reach out, you join their Discord and uh, do your own research. Check out the blockchain billies. Up next is a very interesting, very cool project called the Desperate Ape Wives. Now, some of you might have already heard about this one because it actually minted a couple of days ago. I'm sorry, I try to bring you these projects pre-mint, but I can't do it every single time. Now, I did pick up a couple of these today after the mint. I've actually bought three. Milt has also bought a couple. Uh, so full disclosure, I've picked these up. Now, I'm not shilling mine. Okay, guys, calm down. Mine are not for sale, so get your dirty little hands off of them. And uh, what I've been doing is I've been digging for some of the, the most rare ones that I can afford for my collection long term because I think that these guys are going to do very, very well. Now, I talked earlier in the video about how Ethereum, well, all NFT sales have dropped both on Solana, Ethereum, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the past few weeks, definitely we've seen a drop even over the past month to six weeks, we've seen a steady drop, a uh, signif fairly significant drop in volume of NFTs. But here's the thing, we're starting to see that pick back up and we're literally watching this happen now. And this has been a very interesting project to watch because the Desperate Ape Wives, of course, um, a spinoff of um, the Bored Ape Yacht Club, right? But Desperate and Ape Wives, I love it. It makes a ton of sense to me. It fits a niche. Um, and yes, you don't have to be uh, you don't have to be a girl to get these. I actually own one with this head, uh, this this hat on it. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, anyways, guys, looking at these, these things have actually gone nuts. Here's the floor price. I actually want to reset, see if it's moved at all. But the floor price at 0.58. Okay, so it's 0.58. They launched their mint. I think it ended last night or yesterday, uh, and they were 0.08 or 0.09 ETH. Now. ETH has been slower than anything in terms of minting. You've watched a lot of these mids take place and they haven't sold out. But when it came to the Desperate Ape Wives and a couple of other projects, they sold out and they sold out pretty quick. Now there's a it's a big collection. There's 10,000 of these, so it's not a it's not an insignificant size of project and the volume already in 24 hours is 1.3 thousand ETH in trading volume and we're seeing some real action here. Uh, we're seeing them sell for one ETH. We got 0.6 ETH. We've seen, I saw the queen sold for, I think, 18 ETH. Here we go. We've got 5.3 ETH. And so we're seeing some real money flow into this Desperate Ape Wife project on Ethereum available on OpenSea. And so I, I've i picked up three. I think Milt has picked up a couple. I'm digging in for rarity. And one of the tools that I'm using is the Trait Sniper. It's called uh, app.traitsniper.com. 
where you can actually choose the collection. I'm in Desperate Ape Wives here. And, you know, I go, I, I come from uh, OpenSea. I find the one that I'm interested in, or I take a look at different traits and I find the number 3530. And I go over here to the Trait Sniper 3530 and boom, ranked 52 out of 10,000. And so this one is obviously extremely rare. I see that it's for sale and uh, I can actually click on the link from here back to OpenSea if I want. And I can, this is a buy now, so I can buy this guy now. Now that's actually a very good price, by the way, 3.5 ETH. I know it seems expensive, but 3.5 ETH ranked 52 seems like a very good price to me. In this case, uh, I think the rarest trait is the small little Chanel bag that this one has just looking at her traits. Yes, the small Chanel bag is extremely rare. And so anyways, guys, I wanted to bring up Desperate Ape Wives. One, because I'm really enjoying the project. Two, I think it's gonna do very well uh, in the near to long term. It's already doing very well off the bat. Floor price is growing, volume trade is growing. And to showcase the fact that ETH projects while well, the NFT space is actually making a really strong comeback over the last few days, we've started to see it. To watch an ETH project with 10,000 items do uh, a sellout uh, is amazing. And I also saw that with uh, the Bitcoin billionaires, they had a volume or they had over 13,000 in their collection and they sold out as well. So we're starting to see things come back, but check out Desperate Ape Wise um, if you wish. I highly recommend it. I think it's going to be a very good project. It already is. And I think the artwork's dead on. Obviously, it's a spinoff for an Ape Yacht Club but it's filling a really interesting niche. All right, guys, this next project is also very interesting. It is called Battle Drones, battledronesnft.com. Um, we actually talked about this in one of our live shows last week. I hope you're all paying attention because we go live now every single day. We're trying it out. Sorry, every day of the week, Monday to Friday uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern. You can join us at our live shows. I believe it was on Thursday. We were giving away a, fee, a free battle drone kindly donated from the team to our uh, CryptoWise family. And so we wanted to check it out even further. And what we found is this project is awesome, guys. They're doing some really, really cool stuff. One, I'm a drone enthusiast, so I absolutely love drones. Two, the artwork is cool. And three, they're working on some really cool stuff, including a game for Xbox. And so you'll actually be able to play Xbox, play the game on Xbox. You'll be able to tie your wallet to that game, which will uh, verify that you have the NFT so that you can earn things like NFTs uh, and tokens and so forth and so on within the game itself. So welcome to Battle Drones. Battle Drones is a collection of 10,000 uh, generated collectible artworks hovering on the Solana blockchain. So this is Sol. You'll need Sol to buy this one. Each Battle Drone gives you exclusive access to our play to earn game our merch store and commercial art uh, work rights. Battle drones have a long-term vision of evolving the NFT space, a sustainable version uh, vision, which will become evident as the community triggers future activations by completing roadmap milestones. And so this is very well thought through. Now I'm on their site and it says time till drop 36 minutes. And so they did their whitelist yesterday. By the way, today is October 31st. Happy Halloween, everybody. No better time to do an NFT video than Halloween. Now, looking at their roadmap, uh, it was created by with passion and unstoppable drive to create the best community, which rewards its members through every step of the journey. And their roadmap illustrates that at 20%, we'll begin increasing our online presence, employing value-driven community managers and revealing our partnerships. At 50%, they're going to donate $60,000 to a charity project, uh, uh, a charity project chosen by the community. 10,000 of this will go towards uh, Kiwanis for Kiwi, a national uh, charity that supports community-led uh, Maori-led Kiwi conservation projects. I apologize if I butchered that. Okay, at 70%, they'll begin releasing community challenges, including a browser-based mini game to get our NFT holders engaged in the project. And they'll be testing the PC and console game trailers, um, which I'm very excited about. I'm most excited about the console stuff because we haven't seen an integration between um, gaming, crypto gaming, NFTs, and console gaming as of yet. So this will be one of the first. At 90%, increase the opportunity to earn an in-game tokens and open virtual investment opportunities to NFT holders. Uh huh, battle drones, okay? And then at 100%, now is the, now the drones have taken flight. You have a final chance to collect free PAOPs before the drones exit Earth's orbit 
your collected POAPs can be burnt into the exclusive in-game utilities. Are you ready to battle? And so they're working on a couple of different games, from what I understand. Um, and it's going to be kind of a Mario Kart style play to earn game. And they're working towards getting it out on the Xbox console, which again will be one of the first that I have seen. So I'm very excited to see Battle Drones. Go check them out at battledronesnft.com. All right, this next one is no surprise to you guys. It is called Soul Stars, okay? We've talked about this. I've talked about it. Melt has talked about it. He's a big fan as well of Soul Stars. It was 500 unique hand-drawn pixelated cartoon NFTs. They have now been fully dropped, okay? So they were doing this in stages, and you could check out all the Soul Stars here. Um, they were doing this in stages, so they were only doing X amount per week. And now the entire collection has dropped. And I can tell you that some of these have resold for some crazy amounts. And so I'd highly recommend that you go check out Soul Stars. But one thing, in addition to the amazing, very unique, cool artwork of Soul Stars that I absolutely love. And by the way, we own quite a few of these now. No, they're not for sale. I'm not chilling. Get your dirty little hands off them uh, because we're not selling any of them right now. Uh, but super excited to have them in our collection. They're probably ones that we'll just keep forever because we're hoarders and the ones that we picked, we absolutely love. Maybe we can disclose those at a later date to you and show them off like a little show and tell. But listen, guys, Soul Stars, they've dropped all the originals, but now they have come out with what I guess you could consider their phase two, which are these very cool holographic Soul Stars, okay? And so they, uh, if you have been paying attention yesterday, they were airdropping five of these to their original 500 holders of a Soul Star, but join them at 10 p.m. UTC. So this is over. Unfortunately, I didn't bring this to you soon enough, but here's an example, holographic ones here. How cool are these? So you can get any of the original Soul Stars will be available in these holographics um, and they'll be dropping these, which you can go and I would highly recommend in, in order for you to really follow this project, you need to follow them on Twitter and you need to join their Discord because they've got so much community engagement. There's so much going on. And when they drop these new NFTs, like these holographic ones, they go very quick. Okay, they go very, very quick. And so they make an announcement and then they drop them and they go quick. So I highly recommend you go check those out. Now, Magic Eden, um, I believe, let's just go take a look on Magic Eden for Soul Stars. There we go. Soul Stars. Now, for you, for those of you, I'd like to know in the comments below, what is your favorite Solana marketplace? Are you using Magic Eden? Are you using Soul Art? Uh, Solana Art? Are you using Soul C? Are you using Alpha.Art? Um, what are you using? What digitalize? I like to know. Let us know which marketplace you use for Solana NFTs. And if you if you're not doing Solana NFTs yet, and you need some help, let us know if we should be creating some more videos on how uh, how to purchase Solana NFTs. So here are some of them for sale. There's not that many it looks like on uh, Magic Eden, probably because they were doing the drop yesterday. People got them off, and because people absolutely love these. But the uh, current floor price is already up to five souls. So these guys are moving, man. Now that they've all been dropped, they're moving along and they're moving along strongly. So go check them out and check these new cool holographic soul stars out because they're cool. And I do not suspect they're going to last very long. And I anticipate that these are going to start to increase in price very quickly as they continue to get dropped into the market. All right. All right. All right. United aliens i've talked about this one uh once or twice before why because i'm getting very excited and uh the mint is coming up very very soon one day 13 hours 49 minutes and 47 seconds november 2nd is the official mint the first mint of the united aliens guys here are some of the aliens here actually i'm gonna replay this video for you here because i think this video gets me in the mood the united aliens mood that is right are you ready to take over the world united aliens check out how cool the artwork is it's very very cool artwork i love the attributes and i also really love the roadmap get ready 
Because they're coming. Yes, they are. I'm excited about it. And I'm going to get myself some aliens, some United Aliens. Now here, let's talk about why they're unique. So United Aliens is a collection of 9,999 unique aliens launching in three waves. They have, they, uh, they're going to be live on NFTs on the Solana blockchain with the goal of creating a highly successful DAO owned multimedia brand. So these guys want to take this brand further than just your generic NFT. And they want to create a bunch of multimedia around it. They're talking to producers of famous television shows and so forth and so on to really take this brand further. And we know that's kind of the next step in big NFT space, okay? We know that. Personalized aliens. This is where it gets even more exciting. By burning 10 Generation 1 United Aliens, you will be able to have a one-for-one -one session with our designer to create your own fully personalized alien for Gen 2. So you will actually be able to be a part of the design process if you get 10 of the gen ones and burn them you'll get a golden ticket and then you'll be put in a queue to work with one of their designers to come up with your gen 2 okay how cool does that get and you will also be able to create a story for your nft and potentially have it introduced into the canon storytelling storyline through our daily alien highlights contests now United Aliens Gen 2 Access. Gen 2 will be fully populated by the personalized aliens from the Gen 1 burn. Gen 2 will also be where we select the main cast for our main miniseries. Gen 1 will comprise, compose of the extended cast of characters. The maximum possible size of Gen 2 is 1,000 tokens. But since we are implementing a royalty burn mechanism, that number will likely go much lower. Okay, so they are deflationary, decentralized media. Every Gen 1 United Alien will act as a DAO token worth one vote. We will build out the brand by hosting a continuous contest where community members can choose aliens they like the most, along with user-generated stories submitted by the owners on Discord. We will announce uh, an overall canon soon, but the community will build on top of our framework. So you need to join them on Discord, and I highly recommend you join your, their, their Twitter as well. I recommend this for all NFTs, but especially this one if you want to get involved. Deflationary framework. They will use 50% of royalties to buy and burn near the floor to reduce the potential size of the Gen 2 collection. This also means implementing a 10 for 1 burn Gen 2 framework that directly ties into our end goal of innovating by creating a decentralized brand and pitching a pilot to networks in a decentralized manner. How cool is that, guys? So your Gen 2 character could be the star of their new pilot series that they want to get, uh, want to go with. So all the power to them. I really hope that they're able to pull that off and full rights to the holders. By purchasing an NFT, you will own the full rights to your alien and will hopefully be able to profit from it as it expands expands into commercial mediums so guys very very cool go and check out their roadmap at unitedaliens.club i'm definitely going to be trying to mint a couple of these obviously not financial advice any nft uh anything you invest in has risk especially in the nft space we know the risks there are lots of risks associated with nfts but i'm trying to showcase to you the ones that i think have um the right vision the right artwork the right roadmap and uh, these ones, these ones tend to have that. And especially United Aliens, checking them out with their roadmap and their vision to commercialize the brand and commercialize the characters is something that's getting me really excited. Something that I don't have in a lot of the NFT collections that I'm currently invested in. Oh, this is cool. So if you come and check out the gallery, it's actually an interactive gallery. Um, if I could figure out how to use it properly. There we go. That's cool. I love it. I love it. I'm in the gallery. I'm in the 3D United Aliens gallery. I want to see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Some rare ones here. Oh, is that big? Is that big? Big brains? Is that big brains? Look at this. See, they've got some influencer NFTs as well, guys. Um, the United Universe. Are you on the list? Claim your one for one United Alien by sharing it on Twitter. Very cool. Snoop Diggity. Snoop Diggity's got one. Soul Big Brain. Now, they're, they've never been claimed yet, but. They are available for these influencers to get their hands on, and you can tweet them here. Very cool. Very, very cool. So check that out. Now, guys, as I said, they are getting ready to mint. So 
Get your little wallets out. Get your Solana Phantom wallets out and get ready. Do your own research, not financial advice. But I'm definitely going to try to pick up a couple of these because you never know. You just never know. And if they're able to accomplish what they're working on, I think they've got a good chance of doing very, very well. Lastly, what I should say with respect to the Mint is they're actually going to be minting through Magic Eden. Okay, the first one to be using the new Magic Eden Mint Authority, which allows you, it's not the Launchpad, don't be confused with the Launchpad, but it allows users to mint the project through Magic Eden, meaning there's a partnership between the project and Magic Eden, and there'll be a percentage held by Magic Eden, okay? And what this does is it helps remove the fears of a rug pull and builds trust in the community and makes it seamless and makes the mint process a lot cleaner. So I'm really excited that they're doing that. Their first wave will be 3,300 and 33 of these and the price will be 0.5 soul so very affordable so it's gonna be minted through magic eden very very cool all right i have talked about this a couple of times for the reason that i believe this is probably the biggest project of the year in my opinion and the one that i am most excited about on Solana and it is we are the walrus okay we are the walrus and I've talked about it the fact that they are still in stealth mode they're still in stealth mode but they have been making some big reveals as of late in their discord and we can start to see some of the artwork that's coming through here obvious some very obvious hints of the Beatles the artwork is truly amazing and I haven't really seen anything of this caliber as of yet coming to Solana. And so this reminds me very much of the Board 8 Yacht Club days on the early Ethereum NFTs when they saw one of the first uh, of its kind. And they've got some partnerships with other uh, NFT projects. The community is starting to really take fire. I think their Discord is getting close to eight or 10,000 people and they're still in stealth mode. Now I'm told that their website, their official website is being dropped tomorrow. So keep an eye on that. But they've also got this that I wanted to bring to your attention on Twitter. Firstly, I highly recommend you go and follow them on Twitter, guys, because I'm we're bringing this project to you guys super, super early. But that's what you want. You want to be in early because that's when you get access to their whitelist. I think there's still, still some spots available on their whitelist. So go check that out. And they've also they're also building this maniacs, the walrus maniac program where anyone who's really interested in this project can apply to become a walrus maniac. And just by going to their Twitter and retweeting this, you can win half a soul. So about $100 just to go to their Twitter and retweet this maniac post. But more than just retweeting, I recommend you read their Medium article and see if you want to be a walrus maniac. Because this is no joke, guys. I'm going to be bringing more and more of WATW to you. Because again, I think it's going to be the largest project on Solana of the year. I'm not kidding. Anyways, that's enough about the Walrus until they drop their website. You'll probably be hearing more from me on this. There is no better time to get involved in the NFT space, guys. Again, I got to say, you got to be careful. You got to be cautious. You got to do your own homework, do your own research. Anything to do with cryptocurrency or NFTs, etc., comes with risk. So please don't invest what you can't afford to lose. Okay, that's number one. And number two, be smart about what you're doing. Do your own research. Okay, take what we tell you as a way of consolidating the research for you and trying to bring you some of the best projects that we think have the best potential for you long-term. At the end of the day in NFTs, it comes down to you, you making those decisions. But what a better day than October 31st, Halloween, to be talking about NFTs. It's been a real blast. Stay tuned because we've got a lot more content coming your way.